What is up, YouTube? We are back. We're doing a combo guide this time with Manon. You know, people have been asking me what are the go-to combos for Manon. Manon's not really a super combo-heavy character, I feel like. She has, like, some good nuance combos, but she actually doesn't have too many. I can show you guys a lot of the BMBs and basic combos with her. The basic combos I'll do from basic light starters, basic medium starters, and basic uh, heavy starters. Her light BMBs are like jab, 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 quarter circle forward, medium kick. That's like the basic jab confirm. You don't get any Oki from this knockdown because they're going to be too far to really do anything. Like you'll be plus 10, but like I have no button from that far to reach. Another good combo from lights is crouch light kick. Fan jab 214k 214lk or you know quarter circle back light kick so this combo is good because this ender leaves you close enough for a command grab so there's actually oki here but it does less damage than the jab 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 combo if you're trying to spend meter or get your levels up get your uh, metal level up you can do crouch light kick stand jab drive rush stand jab back heavy punch into spin for a metal I don't usually do this combo because I don't like starving myself with dry meter for like a combo that doesn't do a lot of damage. I know it nets you a metal. I guess it's a good round closer. Another good combo if you're willing to spend meter is crouch light kick, crouch jab, EX uh, kick into the ball. I don't know the name of these moves. Into the ballerina kick. But this is really good for corner carry. So you can automatically get your opponent cornered really fast but just super important in this game i feel like you can win basically getting your opponent cornered really quick because then it just becomes like a throw loop scenario or if i go to meet you or not any other basic light confirms uh if you ever want to go into your super you can even do that so you can do the basic light combo into level one or you can do the basic light combo into level two and not drop it like i did so yeah, those are kind of like all the basic light confirms I use. You can always just do light drive rush. There's plenty of light drive rush combos that you can make up. As for medium confirms, the, the best medium button, I feel like Manon's best medium button is their stand medium punch. So this is kind of like the go-to button I always use if I'm trying to whip punish anything or just like trying to steal a turn or something. I usually just use stand medium punch. But you know, she has the basic target combo, stand medium punch, uh, stand medium kick. But if you want to get medals, you should do stand medium punch, drive rush, crouch medium punch, back heavy into metal. This is kind of the combo I use the most from playing Manon. It's good damage and you get a medal, which is also, you know, pretty important in Manon's game plan. From crouch medium punch, you can do the same thing. Same basic combo. You can still use a lot of the extensions too. So if you have a whiff punish, you can do, you know, stand medium punch, uh, ballerina kick. I don't know. They move. Or stand medium punch, quarrel if you want Oki. Or you can do EX, uh, corner carry again. Uh, you can't double dash there because it's negative nine. But a lot of the basic light confirms do work for the medium confirm. Another good combo starter. I don't use, really use back medium kick. This move kind of good. It's a good knowledge check because you have the overhead and then you can cancel into the basic combo for the level. There's a lot of ways to like sneak in level. In the first round, I feel myself going for metal way more often than kind of like closeout round. A lot of the basic medium confirms are kind of just like button, drive rush, combo. If you do get punished counters or your opponent does something unsafe, like minus six, I mean seven or something, there's this combo that's pretty good. You can do that, the overhead, you and you do get a decent amount of corner carry. I, I feel like there is probably a better combo I can do in this scenario. But yeah, com combos like that give you good corner carry. As for heavy combo starters, Manon doesn't have heavy cancelable normal. So you have the obvious heavy punch, heavy punch target combo. Uh, heavy kick, can't cancel. Crouch heavy kick, can't cancel. But she does have back fear. But from back fears, you can get like combos like that. But I wouldn't do a combo like that. You can do back fears, you know, quarter circle forward, medium punch to get a level. But if you do get punish counters, this is where the, the combos start getting act, uh, spicy. So you can do back heavy punch, quarter circle forward, OD kicks into twirl for a metal. That actually gives you a lot of damage. It's like 30% right there. If you get punish counter heavy kick, you can go into quarter circle back. Uh, medium kick for corner carry, 
uh, quarter circle back light kick for Oki, or you can just do go into your super. Your level one combo, your level two combo. So it's kind of like a, a lot of freestyle. I feel like a lot of her heavy buttons do depend on punish counter or using drive rush. For overhead combos, she has a lot of unique corner character. I mean corner combos. So you can do that, get a metal off of your overhead. I know it spends a lot of bar, but it doesn't put you directly in burnout. Drive impact combos in the corner and mid-screen vary. The obvious combo is to do back heavy punch, you know, get a metal, easy metal. Or if you want to be optimal, you can do uh, jump heavy kick, drive rush, back medium punch, I mean back heavy punch, metal spin. It nets you a bit more damage, you spend one bar for it. There's other optimal combos you can do that, bop, heavy, into that. That combo is kind of awkward, it has really good corner carry, but that combo is kind of awkward to hit. Off of corner DI, you can do the same, you can still do the same combo. Uh, usually I'll go for like a corner DI into that if I want to level. Or if you want to combo into level D, you can do the same combo. Back heavy punch, go for the support, bop, bop, to level 2. That combo is really good. If you wanted to go into level 3, you can always, you know, just do the same thing, but, you know, just do the, the hit grab. Into it. I think that's it for a lot of her basic combos. She has a lot of actual hard anti-air combos that are kind of awkward. I don't usually go for these in matches. When I anti-air, I usually just do, you know, crouch fierce, crouch, uh, heavy punch, heavy punch to get the knockdown. I think that's a safe anti-air. Uh, if you're uh, looking for the anti-air, or you can, what, you're willing to spend meter, you can do uh, quarter circle forward OD kick into throw for a metal uh if you want to spend more meter you can do that drive rush cross medium punch get a metal like that it does a bit more damage yeah you can do that combo with the drive rush system a lot of the combos are kind of very free forming this is the average combo i go for just for the corner carry but if you do want a metal you can obviously if you're really good, you can anti-air back heavy punch, even though I see a lot of Manon players on the online talk about use this for normal anti-airs, and I always get stuff whenever I do it. But if you do, if you are that good, you can definitely just do back heavy punch into that quarter circle forward. I mean, that's really good uh, corner carry as well. Use it how you will. Me personally, I never do this anti-air. I, I just, I don't think it's a good anti-air. You can also technically anti-air with back medium kick. Dude, I know a lot of people in my chat have been asking me why I don't anti-air with back medium kick. Dude, you know, I don't think this is that good of an anti-air either. Basic level 3 combos. non CA is very important to how to get into it. I still do the wrong thing. If your CA is going to kill, you should do this combo instead. Because I always do this, when in reality, you're not supposed to actually do that. You're supposed to do this. Because that does a bit more damage. That did, what, 41-40? And the combo I do does... Yeah, 41-42. I, I feel much safer canceling from that, though. Another easy combo to level 3, which I've been using a lot more of, so if I know the level 3 is going to kill and I'm playing neutral, I'll just do stand heavy punch, hit confirmed into level 3. I think this is actually really, really good. The good thing about that normal is, like, it'll beat a lot of the mechanics. I don't think you can parry that either. And the other... Confirm that Manon has this really good is it's the same thing. The heavy punch is really good for confirming. There's a lot of basic combos you can just do with heavy punch. You can go to any super. Oh, I have not I didn't even show off one of the down forward heavy kick. I don't use this move ever. I actually never use this move. I have not found a use for it. Yeah, I think that's a lot of Manon's kind of combos. There's a lot of like minor drive rush combos. I, I technically I, I can do jab, jab, jab. Wait, I can do jab, jab, drive rush, jab, jab, drive rush, jab, jab into, you know, kick. But, you know, you would never do the combo in a real match. You can definitely just explore a lot of the combos in training mode. And yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.